Yes, welcome to DC Economics. So coherently, we are going to talk about the industrial economics. So the industrial economics actually deals with... Industrial economics is a branch of economics that focuses on the structure, behavior, and performance of industries and markets. So it examines on how firms in different industries make decisions regarding production, price, investment, to maximize their profits. So actual, uh, the industrial economics focuses on the structural behavior. When we talk about the structural behavior, we look on how different market operates. We have different kinds of structure of a market. We have maybe a perfect competitive market. We have the oligopoly. We have monopoly, we have mon mon monopolist competition and so many other structures of the market. So actual, what uh, behavior, what market actually behaves, uh, what market, any kind of market that behaves depends on its structure. And so now we determine the performance of the different market system. So the performance of industries and markets is actually analyzed through the industrial economics. So if we want to look on how different firms or in different interests make decisions, we, those decisions come from the possibility of evaluation of a given structure and behavior of a market system. So those market decisions are made depending regarding on the production price and investment so as to maximize profit. So here now is a, a comprehensive introduction to the key issues concerning industrial economics. We have the market structure. So industrial economics analyze various market structure. We have, as I told you, we have maybe perfect competition, the PCM market, monopolist competition, the oligopoly monopoly. So if we understand this structure now, it's become very crucial for us now to get a picture on the performance of the market system and the economy. So because now this actually influences the firm's price strategies and market behavior. So this kind of market structures actually determines or show how the price strategies and how the supply and demand is or interact or operate in the given forces. So now throughout this market structure, we are capable of outcoming with a great performance of the given uh, firms in the economy. So also the market conduct, this is the aspect of industrial economics that examines on how firms behave in the market. So it delves into topics like price strategies, advertising, product differentiations, and barriers to entry. So firms may engage in predatory pricing to drive competitors out of the market or engage in a pollution of fixed price correctly, both of which are critical issues in industrial economics. So market conduct examines on how firms behave in the market. So we tend to look on the price strategies. We tend to look on how the firms advertise. We, need to, we tend to look on how different kind of products are produced with different firms. We want we go through and look back uh, or, uh, on each of our barriers of entry that the system of a market allows other market to intend to compete with other existing market. So actually the market conduct talks on uh, uh, how firms behave in the market. So the actual behavior of the firms actually determines the price strategies on how the firms advertise, on how the firms produce different products, on how the firms allow entry for other firms in the market, but also the market performance as well. So industrial economics assess market performance based on value criteria, such as efficiency, innovations, consumer welfare, economic growth. So efficient markets, allocate resources optimal, leading to the lower production cost and increased consumer surplus. So industrial economics explore how market structure and conduct impact uh, innovations and technological progress within the industries. So if you want to assess the market performance, uh, actually we talk about, uh, if you want to assess now the market performance based on various criteria, is now through the industrial economics, and these are what is known as uh, the performance of the market. So the performance of the economy of the market, the performance of a given of a given firm is analyzed by checking, cross-checking out the efficiency, the innovations, the consumer welfare that is achieved, 
economic growth as well. So we have also another issue that is competition policy that is analyzed throughout this industrial economics. Government often intervene in the market to promote competition and prevent that competitive practices. So the competition policy tend to initiate or to pull out or to lift out uh, more of the competitive markets to operate in the given firm than monopoly market. And actually, you need to understand that competition actually allows more innovative skills, allows more, uh, allows more people to think big and come with the big analytics to raise up the economy of the particular firm. So if without competition we find out now the firms operating the market are main dominant, they are not actual come out and produce high quality goods, we will see that there's a limit of innovations and big skills uh, that may come up and build up more the economy of the particular firm. So the competition policy is actually examined throughout the industrial economics. So industrial economics plays a vital role in shaping competition policy. So the policymakers rely on industrial economies and license to design regulations, prevent monopolies, and ensure a level playing field for all market participants. But also we have the strategic behavior. Firms engage in strategic behavior to gain a competitive advantage. Other issue that we are going to describe here is strategic behavior. The strategies that are taken by given firms to raise up the economy of the performance of the given firms include a uh, the strategic behavior may be maybe the firms to join together MIGAS. It may be their positions whereby a big firms join out with more other small competitive firms to remove out the competition. And uh, maybe also maybe it will be the research and development, uh, whereby people come up with data, processing out the data and come up with a good fact. It may be maybe development investment, it may be maybe global expansion. Different strategies may be taken throughout the firms. To raise out, uh, to raise out the optimality of the given firms. So, industrial economists studies these strategies to understand on how firms adapt to changing market conditions and competitive pressures as well. Another issue is regulation and deregulation. Actually, the set of different laws that operate in the given firms or businesses may actually limit some of the given extensions for given firms in the market system. So industrial economics examine the effects of government regulation, regulation of industries. And as I told you, if there are certain regulations that are set out, can may impact entry barriers of other firms uh, in terms of the price mechanisms, the overall market competitiveness. But the regulations actually may give out a freedom for many other firms to enter the market and to try to do the same business to compete with other existing businesses. So actual deregulation in aims to increase competition by removing entry restrictions and reducing government interventions. When you set out a uh, mean of the regulations, this means that your intention is to increase the monopoly rule in the market. But if you know, if you apply the regulations, your intention now is to increase more competitions in the market system and not a monopoly. Another issue is that we are going to look at the game theory and the industry interaction. The issue of game theory is actually used in industrial economics to model strategic interaction between firms. The strategic interaction between firms is actually done through the game theory, whereby we tend to look at many players play at their same suit to make out uh, to maximize a given profit or potentiality against another firm. So game theory is actually applied between two firms in order to win the market and to come up with a bigger potential value. So by analyzing now the decisions and the counter decision of the competing firms, industrial economics can predict market outcomes and understand the rational behavior of firms in different situations. But also globalization and trade is another issue that we're going to look on here. Industrial economics explore the impact of globalization on industries and markets. And actually the globalization, tend, we tend to look on interlinking between our two nations, between businessmen, between cultures, between our cultures, between our traditions. This globalization that covers all the main aspects of the social, political, and economic that can actually affect the industrial, uh, the given firms in the market systems or in the industrial economy. So, industrial economics explore the impact of globalization on industries and markets. So, international trade policies 
comparative advantage and the effects of globalization in market structures are essential area of the study. So the interplay between the domestic industries and global market is a critical issue in today's interconnected world. After what I can, I can actually recommend here, uh, in industrial economics, uh, the industrial economics is my faceted field that addresses fundamental questions about how markets and industries operate by studying market structures, firms' behavior, market performance, competition, policies, strategic interaction, regulations, and globalization. Industrial economics also provides a variable insight into the function of economies and a guide the policymakers and business in making informed decisions. So actual, this is actually a short but very enjoyed introduction about industrial economics. Don't forget on the next session about the industrial analysis. Don't forget to subscribe and watch another videos. Welcome to DC Economic Class. Bye-bye.